Good morning. It's Thursday, December 17th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of hope for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Words, and our scripture is Proverbs chapter 16. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul, and healthy for the body. Words are tools of communication, and what we communicate can be either sweetness and health to the body and soul, or weapons to destroy. And that destruction or help cuts in many directions. A sharp tongue can destroy a nation or build a child into a great and godly influence. There are over 300 mentions of words in Scripture. Of course, the chief reference is to Jesus by one who loved him very much. John chapter 1. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. So the Word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Consider just these few ways a word speaks. Words can shock and paralyze everything. Numbers chapter 14, when Moses reported the Lord's words to all the Israelites, the people were filled with grief. Words can also fill us with praise and worship, Deuteronomy chapter 31. So that very day, Moses wrote down the words of the song and taught it to the Israelites. And then words can grow us tenderly. Deuteronomy 32, let my teaching fall on you like rain. Let my speech settle like dew. Let my words fall like rain on tender grass, like gentle showers on young plants. And in words, particularly God's instruction, can make existence into life. These instructions are not empty words. They are your life. By obeying them, you will enjoy a long life in the land you will occupy when you cross the Jordan River. These few are just barely a beginning when it comes to what the Word of God can do in our lives. A lifetime of observation and participation with words has led me to the conclusion that God's Word is more important than any idea I've ever had or heard. But second in line are the words I let tumble out of my mouth, or sometimes the words I fail to speak. My words can be either a gift to or a gutting of another person. The choice is always like the ball hit into my half of the court. What shall I do with the words that are forming or hiding within? Here's the prayer that should cover every thought and word that issues from my tongue. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. For you today, we will all say some words to someone today, maybe a lot or maybe a little. May each syllable be covered in that prayer over our mouths and motives. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.